The family of Canadian Navy pilot Lieutenant Barry Troy spent 59 years knowing nearly nothing about what happened to him after crashing off Mayport. We told you two weeks ago that Hurricane Irma unearthed debris at Hannah Park from the crash, including the pilot's parachute harness with his initials. Well, after seeing our story, a St. John's County man contacted us saying he too found a piece of the Royal Canadian Navy's F-2 Banshee fighter jet. It's a story you'll only see here on News for Jacks. Roughly 20 miles away from where a missing pilot's parachute rigging was found after Irma. Yet another historical find, this time along Ponte Vedra Beach. Whenever I found it, it was uh, laying in the sand this way. What Pete Drewash first thought was a dead fish could very well be a piece of this F-2 Banshee fighter jet that was flown by Royal Canadian Navy pilot Lieutenant Barry Troy. Lieutenant Troy disappeared on February 25th, 1958, almost without a trace. His plane mysteriously crashed on the way to train with the U.S. military off Mayport, and he was presumed dead. Immediately I knew it had something to do with aviation. Um, and I told my wife, I said, hey, I found part of an airplane. Drew Ash knows military aircraft. His own father was a pilot, and both of his brothers served in the U.S. Navy. And doing comparison, he believes the part he found will be positively identified by the Canadian military. See how that's got that shape to it? And that strut has that same shape. Look carefully at the curves on this old piece of metal and compare them to the front air intake on the front of Lieutenant Troy's F-2 Banshee fighter plane. Drew Ash went as far as to look up the blueprints to the single-seat fighter jet, determining that it could be a match. On the airplanes, they didn't have air conditioning, so they had fresh air intakes. And we believe that this has something to do with the, uh, with the intake on the F-2 Banshee. It's a historical discovery that may now be turned over to the Canadian government, found just days after Lieutenant Troy's parachute harness with his initials and other debris were found. A discovery that's also unearthing emotions for Lieutenant Troy's family in Canada. It just brought home all the, the emotions just back to the surface, um, living through that again and also thinking about how it must have been for him. It's not closure, but to have that artifact that has his name on it, it's almost like we found him in some way. Mm -hmm. And I think just having that piece, piece back, him, yeah. that piece of him, it's almost like a piece of him that we're getting back. News for Jax has been in contact with the Canadian Embassy in Washington, D.C. in hopes of helping get the pieces found, confirmed, and then given to Lieutenant Troy's family. But Joy, what Mr. Drew Ash, the man who found that piece of the plane, what he thinks is, is a piece of the plane, what he doesn't want to see is that piece of the plane that he found end up sitting in some storage facility, you know, never seen again. He, he knows that it not only has historical significance, but also personal significance significance for this family who six decades ago lost a family member. And I can imagine those artifacts are such a great joy to them, but at the same time, as each piece is unearthed, it just brings up a lot of hurt as well. Yeah, definitely some mixed emotions from the family. We're going to continue to follow the story. Um, there's very possible that more uh, items from that plane could wash up. Mm.